Hey guys, what's up? It's Quincy Drew here. I'm out at the tot lot again in the big old 50s, 40s uh, park over there. Um, I'm not going to say the location like I did last time. I had to take that video down. But uh, JDS Coins, uh, I've been at this for about five minutes now. And I uh, just found my first nickel I've ever found here. So, uh, that's pretty sweet. I saw your video the other day, last night. Um, 28 nickels in 90 minutes. Well, I actually have exactly 90 minutes to hunt, so uh, I'm not going to expect to dig any low tones here because there's not many. There's a lot of pull tabs here, but uh, 95D uh, came in about a 53 solid, so. Alright, guys, on to the next. Second nickel, guys. 1995 again. Two inches deep. Let's go. Sun's already out. There's some uh, cops out here earlier. Uh, it's blurry again. Oops. Alright. 1995 uh, nickel. Fix it in pretty good. Alright, guys, on to the next. Found a zinkin with a freaking hole in it. <laughs> um. That goes to show uh, our ground is uh, very, very not good on sinkings. Uh, that was a coin spill about four inches down. So, uh, yeah, guys. Not digging any silver, but I'll take Clyde all day, you know? Alright, guys, on to the next. Guys, I told you this spot would pay off. I uh, just dug a signal. It was like a strong 80, 85, you know? 81, 82. Bouncing. So I pulled out a piece of a pull tab and I just pulled out this. It's a ring. It's a silver smashed up ring. It's really, really freaking heavy. Let's pop out the uh, center, guys. Oh my god. I'm stoked. It's huge. Okay, that's silver off the bat. I'm sorry you guys can't see that, but uh, after this I'm getting a new camera for sure. Oh, it's so cool. It's like, it's a Coca-Cola ring. It's silver. It's a silver Coca-Cola ring. No way. Hang on, guys. I put the camera down for a second. I don't believe this. I think there's a mark in there. I'm not sure. Hang on, guys. Give me a second here. Okay, guys. It is Mark Sterling. There's a Sterling mark on the way inside of the band. You guys won't be able to see it, but, uh, oh, my God. It looks like the thing. Oh, it flips. It flips. It's a flipping ring. The thing flips outside. Oh, my God. It flips inside out. Hang on a second. Oh, there's so much dirt in it. I don't want to flip it. Oh, it still works, though. It, like, flips inside out. Oh, that's the coolest ring ever. Oh, it's really thick. It's probably about a 10-gram ring. Oh, I don't believe this, guys. I'm ecstatic right now. This thing is thick as heck. It looks like it's been hit by the lawnmower, but... Oh my gosh, I'm going to go recheck the hole. There guys, I just cut out the camera. I'm going to go check the hole right in front of you. Sounds like there is something else in here. There was a pull tab in here. Oh, wow. Guys, man, this is amazing. I'm going to rescan my hole and I'll get back to you guys. Hey guys, what's up? It's Quentin Drew here. Um, so here's the video of the uh, metal detecting finds wrap up. Uh, I did so well on this. Um, Hunts. I meant to make this video yesterday. Today's Sunday. Um, May 25th, I think. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, so here's the finds. Um, I'm sorry I stopped filming after a while. Uh, after I found that... Uh, ring I just kind of stopped and uh, just kind of stopped making any more uh, clips so uh, I hunted for till like from I don't know 745 to like you know 10 or something and uh, I'm sorry if you guys hear my dad um, he's pulling in the lawnmower it sounds like so you're gonna hear a little bit of a uh, disruption um, he's pulling in the garage right now um, I don't know if you guys can hear that or anything but, uh, so I found four quarters, um, modern stuff. Uh, I found one in the parking lot. The parking lot is just kind of like a concrete kind of, you know, um, gravel parking lot. And this was about an inch below the surface. 
It's a little Montana corner. There's so many targets in there, but it's really hard to dig these targets. Um, got a couple dimes. I think I rounded up with about a dollar or something. So not horrible. Um, not great either, but I found three nickels. So I didn't get the 28 nickels that JD has coins found in uh, uh, t an hour and a half. Um, I did get some old memorials. Um, my oldest memorial, I think, was found in the parking lot. This is a 1970D. You can tell it's a parking lot coin because it's so dinged up. Um, but this, there's there's one here in the, this one right here, this one's a 1964. Um, I took so many Zinkins and stuff. And these just happen to be in the holes with, uh, you know, um, just happen to be in the holes with dime. Um, I dug two pennies out of one hole. It's that coin and this coin. Um, and this thing's just so badly. Yeah, trashed. I don't even dig these targets. There was one that was four inches down at that place, and I uh, just ignored it. Um, I can't stand digging zinc pennies anymore. It's just so bad now. Um, I kind of just stopped a while ago to digging them. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the clad. Um, I found this in the top lot. I have no idea what it is. It's a little. It moves. It's like a little thing, bead thing that moves around on a little bar. I don't know, little jewelry. What's it thing? Um, it came in as a 50 target. It was really small to pinpoint. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Um, that was in the tot lot. Uh, this thing I found in the parking lot. Uh, I have no idea what it is either. It's a little cap with like a X on it. It might be for a screwdriver. I don't think so though. Um, I don't know if it's lead or if it's steel or something. It looks lead to me. Um, and if it's lead, I'll get a couple cents for it when I scrap my lead. Um, I thought it was a coin when it was sticking out, um, like those coins with the, the crosses carved into them and stuff, but my hopes were kind of over the uh, amount that they should have been. This coin was in the hole with it, uh, one of the other coins. It's a coin with a corrosion mark in the center of it. <laughs> it's really neat. Um, I don't know if this was actually intended to have a hole in it, because it kind of looks even like a star possibly. Um, the year is like a 1993 or something, I don't know. I think it's like 1993. I'll clean it up more. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I don't want it to just come apart because it's really, really weak. It already started corroding there, so... Um, that was kind of funny. I found this. Um, this was an inch below the surface. This was a little bit after I stopped filming. Um, it's actually a wee penny. Um, this was a more modern drop within the past couple years or so. 1953D. I was surprised I actually pulled out a wee penny out of there. Just too bad it wasn't deep, like six or eight inches. That would have been a nice sign. So that was cool. Um, I found this in the uh, parking lot. I don't know what it is. It's just a long, like, bar. It's a really heavy steel bar. It has these two ridges in it. So I figured it's probably a lock, or I mean, a key to something. Has this nice huge band on it. Um, I have no idea. There's a like a little. Um, the park has a little outbuilding, couple outbuildings, that like some sort of club is for. I don't know. It's some sort of like. I don't think it's like Boy Scout or anything. It's some sort of um, club or something, and they have meets, and it looks like they have a bunch of firewood and stuff out there. A couple outbuildings with the park, um, and uh, the same cop from last week pulled up or from three weeks ago, it looks like he pulled up. There was a cop there in like four cars and then they just like disappeared after like 20 minutes. They were talking for a little while when I got there. And then no one showed up. Um, it was kind of weird, uh, but I have no idea. They, they left me alone. Um, I get a little bit of uh, paranoia from cops a little bit. Not much, but I don't, I don't really let them bother me unless they confront me. All right guys, so the last thing I wanted to show you guys here is um, some finds I had, the best find, right? No, I didn't show this when I dug it, but I got a screaming 81, 82, 83, you know, kind of bouncy. I was thinking maybe it would be like a dime or a copper penny, like a wheat penny or something, so it was about the depth or possibly like a silver dime, but I doubt it because I've never really found a silver dime. Um, but this putt thing popped out of the hole. I actually pinpointed the hole wrong. Um, there was two targets in the hole. This popped out first, and it's a uh, pull tab, you know, half a beaver tail, right? Um, it says ORTH. I have no idea what this is from. 
Um, I'm just going to keep it though because it goes along with the other fine. So I'm like, you know, this can't be the right signal. You know, these usually pop up in the 40s or 50s. Can't be the thing that's giving me off to the 82, 83. So what do I do? I scan over the target again, the hole, and uh, on my sidewall of the hole, um, I kind of dug a little bit of piece off. And I figured I would have nicked it if it was... I, I kind of cut down kind of sharply, and I figured, you know, I probably nicked it already. Um, and uh, to my advantage, I didn't nick it. And it popped out, as you guys saw, a little bit of a ring. And I did clean up the ring, guys. And uh, it is a Coca-Cola silver ring. Um, now, as you can see, my dad did a pretty good job bending it back. Um, it just about fits my uh, my ring finger, but uh, it, it just doesn't, it's not big enough to go over my knuckle, so it would easily fall off. Um, but, you know, I guess I could try to see if I could get it more, um, you know try to expand it out a little bit more, but I don't want to, you know, damage it or anything. My dad did a pretty good job at it. Um, so I'll try to get you guys some close-ups and add a few pictures at the end, and um, before I give you some close-ups right now on it, um, this thing actually spins around, and uh, it shows a world globe on the back, um, and I'll try to get a good close-up of it right now, and then I'll include some pictures if I can at the end. Um, sorry guys, having a little bit of problems here. You guys can see that. So it spins out. Spins out like that. And uh and then it says uh Coca Cola. Now this thing's really cool. Um and there's a mark down at the bottom. I guess we'll be able to see that. Maybe, maybe not. It does say sterling. It says Sterling, and then a the little stamp there, and then it's a Coca-Cola stamp right there. Now, I have no idea about this ring, guys, and if you guys could help me identify it, that'd be awesome. Um, now, what I know is that I can't find a single thing about it. I know it's probably not made by, like, another company that, you know, like, I don't know how to really explain it, but... I have a feeling that it was Coca-Cola directly, like, you know, obviously Coca-Cola probably didn't make this ring, like, they didn't make it literally, but they had someone do it for them. It wasn't, like, an extra company that did it without their permission or just did it and made a bunch of them. Um, I think this is, like, a one-of-a-kind ring, to be honest. Now, I still haven't cleaned up all the dirt out of it, um, but I have no idea, guys. Um... I'm going to post it on TreasureNet. I'm going to probably send it to some Coca-Cola associates. Um, I'll probably send it to uh, all the people at the Coca-Cola memorabilia website that I found online. Um, I really have no idea about it. Um, this could be a really expensive ring, or this could be, you know, just worth scrap. Um, I don't think it is, though. I think it's more of a couple hundred dollar ring, to be honest. I don't really know. Um, Silver in general, though, in this ring is not much. There's, uh, well, I mean, there's 10 grams of silver approximately. My scale does not weigh to the uh, 0.1. It weighs to each different um, one interval. Um, so it weighed 10 grams, so it could be, you know, 10.5, something like that. Um, but 10 grams of silver right now is about $6.25, so I didn't do horrible with that. Um, it, it's a really, really heavy, and it's probably because of this piece right here. Um, it's probably uh, weighs it down the most. Um, but what I thought was cool is that it just turns around. It's my second ring that actually flips. Like, I have a spinner ring that I found. That was my first ever silver ring I found in 2012, late 2012, after I got my detector, or 2013 early, at a uh, school in town. Um, this was out at that park I made a video a couple weeks about. Um, I took it off, though, because I mentioned some things in the video that I probably shouldn't have. But uh, yeah guys, I'm noticing this video is a little bit long, this little segment here. Um, I'm just, you know, kind of telling you guys about this ring. And uh, yeah, so I, that made my day, um, week, month, whatever. It's just amazing. It, it really just amazes me. Um, and one more thing before I go here. This bar that's holding this um, Coca-Cola thing in the world, um, this bar that allows it to spin, 
Now, usually with more modern rings, they put like some iron in there, but I believe it to be like a silver bar that's put in there so this thing can spin around. Um, so I'm gonna guess this ring 60s. That's what my dad thinks. Um, I have no idea. So I'll put some stills at the end if I can get some good pictures of it. I should have no problem doing that. And uh, if you guys have any uh, any advice about it, um, my mom actually suggested sending an email and a picture to uh, Pawn Stars, seeing if they could give me some sort of appraisal. I think they might have do that. They might do that. I don't know um, if it's worthy enough to bring into their store, which I highly doubt it. Um, but yeah, you know, usually. It's like gold rings that are worth a lot of money. You wouldn't really think silver rings, but in this case, I think because, you know, you figure because there's so many Coca-Cola collectors and, you know, so much Coca-Cola memorabilia that there'd be at least something about it. And this has Coca-Cola collectors, you know, probably would bounce on this thing immediately. So I don't know how much I could get out of it. Um, or how much it's even worth, if it's even worth that. So... Alright guys, thanks guys for watching, um, you know, that was a really good hunt, and I hope I can get out after finals week, and, uh, I have three more days of school this week, and, uh, finals on, uh, Friday, I have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I have Memorial Day off, um, I have Friday, a full day of, uh, finals, and then, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and I'm done, and Monday, Tuesday is only, uh, 9 o'clock to 11, 15 days, so, alright guys, thanks guys for watching, happy hunting, and I'll see you guys later.